What luck? None. I walked five blocks and there isn't a gas station open. I didn't find one either. What a time to run out of gas. Ooh, and what a neighborhood. Oh, it's so scary, my own shadow was afraid to follow me. <laughs> Lily, I'm hungry. You suppose anybody donated a half-used salami? <laughs> we'll just have to call the automobile club. Have them send over some gasoline. Yes, and tell them to send along a chicken sandwich on rye. Triple decker. <laughs> Billy, you got a dime. My purse is in the car. So is mine. Oh. Hilda, where are the keys? In my purse. <laughs> Your bag is in the car, and the car is locked. Oh, Lily, I must have locked it through force of habit. <laughs> oh, now, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll get a lift some way to the gas station. So what are you going to do? Well, you wait and see. <laughs> on a dark night from a fast car. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> well, that's... It would have been uncomfortable anyway. <laughs> you know, I think it would be quicker to try to pry open the windows. Oh, uh, maybe we can find something in here we can use. All right, let's look. It's got to be somewhere. Gosh. <gasps> Hilda! What? Look. Matt's chair. This is awful. Oh, Matt will be furious if he comes home and finds his chair missing. Well, Lily, we better call Ruthie so she can come and pick it up before Matt gets home. Where are we going to get a dime? <laughs> oh. Oh, it looks like we're going to join the Panhandlers Union. Oh, excuse me, sir, but our car ran out of gas and we need a dime to make a telephone call. I wonder if you'd be kind enough to lend us one. I'll return it to you tomorrow. Gee, that's a great line, lady. Can I use it? I'm walking the other side of the street myself. <laughs> well, how do you like that? Out of four million people in this town, we have to do business with the competition. <laughs> We've got to find this dime somehow to call Ruth. Well, you'd better think of something pretty quick. <gasps> Hilda! What? I've got it. What? I've got it! Here you are, get your morning paper! <laughs> I'm collecting for that newspaper stand. Huh? <laughs> oh, look, uh, we were going to pay you back. Uh, our car ran out of gas, and we have to have a dime for a telephone call. Don't give me that. A guy across the street just handed me the same line. <laughs> oh, come now, really. Do we look like street beggars? Listen, a lot of your panhandlers are dressing up to fool the cops. But you're not fooling me. Oh, now, just a minute. And stay away from these papers. Huh. At least the kid on the corner doesn't beg. He does a little dance to earn his money. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it. All we need is a dime to get in touch with Ruth. And we can't get it. I'll get it, Lily. Did you hear what that man said? We may have to work for it. <laughs> Here. Lily, you wind that up. Mm -hmm. Wind that up so I find something here. All right. Wind that up, Lily. And, <laughs> and when the music starts and the people come, you pass the hat. <laughs> I think you've gone out of your mind. You know of any other way to get a dime? <laughs> Dance, dear. <laughs>
Open your hearts and pocketbooks and let's send this little girl to camp. Oh, aren't we glad to see you. What are you doing? Oh, Pete, we we're just trying to, to get a dime to call Ruthie to let her know that we've got Matt's chair. She knows that, and we better get the chair back before Matt decides that Ruth doesn't go with the rest of the furniture. <laughs> Hey, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did you, why did you cover up my chair? <laughs> oh, well, uh, some of my girlfriends came over and they told me that if I would oil the leather on the chair that would be very good for it. It would keep it from cracking. So, uh, I did. Oh. And, uh, uh, I put the sheet over it until it dries and lunch just to take a shower. Oh, well, let's see that. <laughs> Gee, that's wonderful. Thanks for oiling it, honey. You're really getting to like the chair, huh? Oh, I love it. Really, I love it. It's lovely and I love it. <laughs> Why don't you shave, too? Okay. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Gladys. Oh, right now? Well, I... Well, okay. Four eggs, huh? Yeah. I'll be right over. Bye. <laughs> Ruth. Oh, hi, Pete. Oh, hi, Matt. Say, uh, look, uh, uh, don't touch his chair. Ruth just oiled it. Oh, she did. Yeah. How about that, boy? I told you she'd get to like it, you know. Yes. Well, why don't you go upstairs and take a shower and eat early, and uh, we'll go bowling later. Yeah, well, I was just going to come over to borrow a razor blade. Well, I'll bring one right over. Meantime, you can be taking your shower. Okay. Uh, yes. All right, the coast is clear. Come on. Where's Matt? He's upstairs taking a shower. What's that? Oh, Ruth told Matt she oiled his health chair. Oh, oh, well, we better get this out in the patio. Yes, let's do. I don't know about you folks, but that health chair is making me sick. <laughs> well, I better put this sheet back so Matt doesn't get suspicious. Yeah. Uh, Hilda and I still have to drive that trailer back downtown. Yes, oh. and oh, come on, let's bring some dimes. I'm tired of dancing. <laughs> Look, 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 look out now, look out, look out. Say, Ruth, we're out of soap. Oh, brother. Oh, you beautiful. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, Maddie, if you take that sheet off before it dries, it'll just ruin that chair. Oh, now, look, it won't hurt to take a little look. Oh, Matt. It was all an accident. I sat the girls over here and I moved the chair out to the garage. And Madeline Schweitzer's nephew loaded it onto the trailer and Mother Hilda drove it downtown. Oh, Matt, I'm just sorry that the whole thing happened. What are you talking about? Well, nothing. Uh, uh, nothing that would interest you, darling. Uh, now, why don't you just uh, lie back and relax and vibrate and uh, get your blood circulating, huh? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, madam. Yes. Oh, the health chair? Well, frankly, I don't think Matt got a good one. It vibrates so erratically. When you sit in it, it almost throws you out the window. <laughs> you know, dear, we're not going to have it fixed. Pete bought it for Gladys's mother. <laughs> All right, dear, I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.